My name is Stella Spinakos, and I am one of the founders of the Nicholas Center and Spectrum Designs Foundation. Our mission statement is to increase the opportunities for young adults on the autism spectrum. It is to give them a purpose, a job, a paycheck, a sense of belonging, and being an active participant in their communities so that they can enjoy the happiness that we all have. My husband and I only have one child, Nicholas. From the moment we knew that he was profoundly affected by autism, we knew that we'd have to carve out a different path for him. I went to my two co-founders, Patrick and Nicole, and I said, this is my vision. It started off in my barn, in the back of my house. We very quickly grew out of it and needed to find a more permanent home. This building presented itself in Port Washington, so we bought it in August of 2011. Spectrum Design started off in here with one machine and outgrew it in a year. What Spectrum Designs and, and what Spectrum Designs is, is we're a non-profit social enterprise. The apparel printing portion of it, which is where we are now, is a non-profit apparel printing workshop. So we do all kinds of custom apparel, we do embroidery, screen printing, direct-to-garment, heat transfers, and our mission is to employ people with autism in doing that. We're growing a business to make these guys employed and offer a platform for vocational training as well. It's a recession-proof business. The components are very rote, they're repetitive, and it was a really good fit for our population. In less than five years, we've brought um, the business to a point where we are going to be breaking a million dollars, and that's only the beginning. We are experimenting with Spectrum Suds, which is a laundry business. We have spas, local residents that drop off their laundry, and we do it and turn it around. We have Spectrum Grows, which is our hydroponic microgreen business. We grow hydroponically microgreens, herbs, and vegetables, and we sell them to local hospitals, local restaurants. We also have Spectrum Bakes, which is our granola business. We make organic granola bars, and we sell them to local delicatessens, bookstores, and privately in events. Within two years, we were packed to the gills, and it was becoming quite apparent that we could not increase our business unless we found new space. With the expansion, we anticipate we'll at least be able to double what we have now in terms of 28 employees, and then another 20 or so um, vocational trainees who were uh, at both buildings and at different enterprises. Um, and so, yeah, we should be able to double that to 80 people in the next few years and, and really open our doors as wide as possible to uh, people with autism. We are in contract and we have a magnificent building that is ready for us to renovate and move in and we are very close. At the moment we're about 200,000 or so away, 250, and we're so close and we've come so far and more confident than ever that the business can back up the space. We've got big things we're working on in terms of growing the, the print business, the bakes business, the grows business, and the suds business. They're all going to work hand in hand together and we believe that with what we've created here, we can feed the other businesses. Special designs, it means a lot to me. It could be, you know, work with a lot of positive environment, good people. The support is tremendous, excellent. For me, myself, I have personal struggles. Well, we all have our stuff, so learning about that inspires me to, you know, keep going on in life. I was always on the spectrum ever since I was a little kid. I was always very good at the things that I did. I think like I, I'm good at working with people who are on the spectrum and people who aren't. I'm kind of like a bridge in between. The unemployment rate for people with autism is somewhere in the region of 90%. So when you flip that the other way and see that only 10% of these guys are getting jobs, you see that societal problem right there. And so it's really important that um, from a societal point of view that we do this, but also just an individual point of view. I feel great. I can go home smiling, knowing that um, the next day I'm going to do it all over again and help out. It's like the best thing I've ever done. Looks like we work together as a team, and uh, we strive to do the best we can every day to you know, help others and teach others what it's like. At the end of the day, we're just a huge family getting the job done, creating awareness. I'm excited for the new building. Uh, I saw it a few weeks ago. There's a lot of space, and the biggest issue that we have right now here is that there's not a lot of space. We are absolutely maxed out where we are in our current location. We can only have six young adults on the floor at any given time. We really need to expand that. This new building will give opportunities to so many more individuals. 
It will give us the ability to offer jobs for when they do transition. And if there's anybody, you know, or any, you know, whether it's a corporation, individuals that believe in what we're doing and have a passion for offering opportunities to those less fortunate, um, we would be grateful for you to step forward and to really help us realize our dream. Anyone, you know, whether it's a grant or you just feel for our cause or you know somebody with autism, we are really asking for anybody to step up to the plate, be part of the change we want to see in the world, be that example. Check out our website, look at the pictures, look at what we do, and if there is any way possible for anyone to step forward to donate, we would be more than grateful, not only for us, but for the opportunities that you're giving to so many individuals on the autism spectrum.